Right then, so in we go, Halls of Atonement. So this is based in Res Revenbreath. And uh, in we go. I think are we oh we're straight ahead. So I always try to set focus on the tank. And begin with a few things there. I'm amazed that I'm doing such high DPS seeing as I'm the one that's been... I've only just joined, you know? Wow, they are quick. Now, in here, you need to get the Hound Master first with these because otherwise, um, these Hounds, they tend to uh, go into a frenzy. And that's not good. Wow, they are fast. Mamma mia, they are quick. As they say. Let's throw that in there. Let's get these shades going. Pop my wings, pop that. That's the thing with paladins. They have such... Um, they don't have that many moves for each of the specs. But the moves they have are really good. They're really strong class. There we are, do it for gathering, and get on my Sky Golem. Really handy for a herbalist, you can just pick up herbs without even having to dismount. Put a little tip there. So, we're running along. Now we need to get rid of these shades to um, bring Anima inspired at the top here, up. So as uh, when we get to the boss, that it uh, gives us the best chance. And just find the depraved hound master. Get that thing going. This um this warrior is doing massive DPS. Really is. The you know, warriors have been quite strong recently, I've noticed. People have been hating a bit on them. But from what I've seen in raids and stuff, they've been doing really well. So let's follow Mr. Tank. Let's go up here. And personally, I would just attack them. Get rid of them. But hey, I'm not the tank in this one. So we've got the boss coming up. Shout to us our tank from Drakthul. Doing well, mate. Demon Hunter tanks, though. Uh, and what the power in this expansion. I'll just avoid things here. Stay in the circle. Soon he'll uh, throw out beams about four ways. You just have to make sure you have to follow them around. Pew pew, come on! There's your beams. Oh, 
seems to have a little stone bone. Surprised we've got no vents here actually. Don't run away. You might all feel him. That can do it. Oh, thank you very much. Doing well. <laughs> My DPS is not great. But then again, I'm just working on this character. To be honest with you, I think everybody else's DPS is knocked up back six thousand on the um, on the warrior. Come up here, come up here, come up here. Oops. Now, ideally, you want to use Templar's Verdict on single target, Divine Storm, and multi target. If you can, that's all the help it. Right, now, this guy bursts out the door. Bang! There we go. We're on Rebel Filth. Stone coal. I got out. Watch out for these ads. They'll turn to stone, and once he does a jump, you want to be near them. Because of stone on me, so this is what will happen. I'll go over to these. They'll jump on me and break them. For some reason though, he just jumped over there. But why? Use divine storm when it procs the free ones like that. Curse of stone on me. I did not have any ads. So that's fine because I can just heal myself. Nice, got him down nicely. Ooh, that is an upgrade. That is going on my bonds. Now these guys, the Crave Town Hunters, I'll just kind of interrupt them a bit. Down. It's really important to get the Hound Masters um, before anything. Oh, hello. Now, these don't normally come through here, I don't think. But, uh, Incidentally, with the Kirin Covenant, it's got a really brilliant ability, Divine Toll. Basically, cast five Holy Shocks. Um, judgments or uh, shield spammy things. Can't remember what they are right now for protection. Right, they do want to get through this quickly. Now I've got to interrupt something on here. That one. I've got to interrupt the. Uh, hey, 
I call this one the Ghostbusters um, boss. It's basically you've got to have set the ghosts up when they follow you into these jars over here. That's the one. Volley of power. Thank God for Leon Hans for a pally. Okay, this is getting a bit messy. A bit messy, but we got to the end. Now we've got to do all this. We're going all the way, or are we just getting these? Zerking through this quite fast, actually. And again, it's good practice for Mythic Plus. And then you really gotta go fast. Let's get rid of these. Final boss, let's do this. It's been a nice perk. And getting to some perks and they're absolutely terrible, you know everybody falls out, but these are pretty good. Fast. Seems to know what we're doing. We've got to soak this. There's four bits that come out. Oh, got to avoid this. Ouch. Another ritual of whoa. Hey, there we are, and that's the um, the dungeon. A lovely ring as well. The signet of the false accuser. Oh, what a mastery on that! Wow. Right, so I'll just tell these guys. Yeah. Thanks. Run. And there we go.
Just a thousand. So that was a good run. Uh, had a few things there. So I've got Signet of the False Accuser. Lots of mastery. A really good for you to get mastery. Uh, I think he's the mastery. He's the one for paladins as a general rule of thumb. Um, after item level. Uh, so yeah. Good run. Well. That uh, concludes my first video. Just a bit of a run through a dungeon, I thought. Just uh, put, put that up there. Um, what kind of content would you want to see in the future? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And, you know, like, subscribe, notification bell, LSN. Like, subscribe, notification bell. Okay, so uh, I've been Mam Gaming, and thank you very much, and I'll see you again. Ta-da.